guys, it's Jessica with Fantabulosity.com and today I'm going to share with you um, all the new makeup I got and um, I thought you guys may want to follow along because it may just be kind of fun um, to see what I'm using now and to actually watch me try to apply it because I'm, as I've said in the past, I'm no makeup connoisseur so I am a normal person just like everyone else and um, <clears throat> I've never tried a whole new line of makeup at once. Um, in the past, I've used my, put it this way, when I was 13, I think, my sisters and my mom pretty much held me down and put makeup on me, and I fought and I fought. And um, ever since then, I've just used the same old stuff that I've used for years. And just recently, um, I got interested in maybe changing it up, even going from a new face wash to a new bronzer, all across the line. So. Um, I'm going to show you what all I'm using now and show you every little thing. I have done a couple things already this morning because I've taken a shower, so I washed my face. So I'll just share with you what kind of face wash I was using. And I did go ahead and apply um, a serum, which I'll show you what I'm using. Excuse my Jake and the Neverland Pirates Band-Aid. I sliced my finger open when I was cutting a tomato the other day. <clears throat> and now when I touch it, it's super sensitive, so I have a Band-Aid on. But um, anyway... So what uh, what I started out doing today was I washed my hair, or washed my um, face in the shower with my Kiehl's. I'm now using Kiehl's face wash. And sorry, I didn't have that. It's um the Ultra Facial Cleanser. I love it. I am such a big fan of Kiehl's. I was in the airport um, in Atlanta, I think, last September, and I saw they had a little Kiehl's store. So I thought, you know what? I've heard good things about that. I'm gonna go in there. I got an overnight moisturizer, a night moisturizer, and a night cream. Absolutely fell in love with it. Here's the night midnight recovery eye cream. I've talked about it before in my blog. Um, <clears throat> and then the midnight recovery concentrate is the moisturizer. It's kind of like an oil, but it's not oily. I mean, it's it's amazing. You put it on, it smells like lavender. It makes you relax at night. Absolutely amazing. I put that on the very next morning. I wake up. I can tell I used it because I. My face is glowing. It's I. I'm gonna tell you. I put it on at night. I'm not really good about every night, but um. I will go out the next day without any makeup on if I put that on the night before because I love it that much and it makes such a big difference. Um, <clears throat> also, excuse me. I have some kind of cold sinus thing going on, so I sound kind of funny than normal. Okay. Anyway, so I started off washing my face with the Kiehl's. Absolutely love it. So let's see. The next step is the Kiehl's, I just got this too, it's a serum um, line reducing concentrate because I'm 31 and it's time uh, to start doing this, actually it was time a long time ago to start using age, um, age appropriate moisturizers and things, but anyway, this is a serum, you just put it on before your moisturizer, you can put it on um, at night or in the morning, just make sure you use it once a day, it's so smooth, I already put that on too before I turn the camera on, just to kind of save some time. And the other thing, and the last thing I put on before I turn the camera on was my um, day eye serum. I'm really big on eye creams because you can tell. I have the dark circles in the bags. Uh, my kids have had this cold sinus thing going on. <clears throat> they haven't been sleeping. I haven't been sleeping. So I have some major dark circles and bags under my eyes going on. So I already put that on today too. So this is Kiehl Super Multi-Corrective Eye Opening Serum. I can't give you a review on that just yet because um, I haven't used it enough. I just used it. This is like my second time using it. So, um, Okay, so let me look here. I'm not a professional and I'm not organized, so I have to make sure I do it all right. Oh, wait. I got this um, free sample from Sephora when I did my uh, place my order for all my makeup. And it's just an eye makeup remover. So I used this last night before bed. Uh, by facial. I, I actually really like it before I was using an Avon brand and it was like 99 cents so I'm a cheapo and I thought oh so I've used that for years but it took so much of it it took me so long to get that off I thought maybe that's not normal maybe it's supposed to be a lot quicker than that so I tried that oh my gosh I put it on a cotton ball I wipe two or three times it's gone it's awesome so I do like that okay um, so next is my moisturizer so now I've started using the Kiehl's, and again, wrinkle, age, preventative maintenance, powerful wrinkle reducing cream, has sunscreen in it, Boop. Um, 
and just open it up. I've used this a couple times. I really like it. Um, it's very light. It's not greasy. It's not oily. Um, something you may be asking yourself is, well, Jessica, what kind of skin do you have? Well, you know what? I honestly didn't know that question. Um, when Jennifer was doing my makeup at Flawless Makeup um, the other day, she asked me that question. I said, I have no idea. Um, when I was a teenager, I started using Mary Kay face wash and moisturizer, and they had a combo to oily option. So I got that because I thought, well, that's our no norm normal to oily or something. I don't know. Anyway, I thought, well, I'm a teenager. I probably have oily skin. Well, it worked good for a while, but honestly, I think my face has dried out as I've gotten older, which I think happens. Um, it's gotten more dry, so um, that's, I would consider my face to be kind of somewhat dry, normal to dry, maybe. I don't know. It's not horrible, but um, I really do like this Kiehl's Powerful Ranking Reducing Cream. I do like that a lot. It feels really great going on. Um, it's not greasy. I don't remember if I put it on my neck. It doesn't feel like it. Anyway, so I like that. So that step's done. <clears throat> All right, what's next? Okay, if I go by Jennifer's um, instructions, which I don't have them in front of me, so Jennifer, don't laugh. When I say Jennifer, it's, um, if you go back to my blog post, um, I have a couple of them. There was one where I found a new makeup and hair love. That's her, Jennifer, flawless makeup. And I also went for a casual makeup, um, kind of makeover the other day, and she taught me how to apply makeup, what order to put it in, and what kind of makeup I need to use for my skin. But And she sent me a big, long email saying exactly this is how you do it, and I didn't print it out, so I'm just going to wing it. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I have the moisturizer on. Let's see. So I think next she says to go with the eyes. So this is no surprise to you, and it shouldn't be because this is my MAC Prep and Prime. I'm telling you, if I, it's one of those things. Jessica, if you were stranded on an island, what was one, what would be one thing you'd take with you? Probably this. One makeup item. Obviously, this wouldn't help me to survive, and I really wouldn't care what I look like on an island, but if I could take one makeup item, that's what I'd look like. So, anyway, this thing has been a lifesaver. Helps me get rid of those dark circles and bags under my eyes. Don't go crazy with it, but if you're not sure what I'm talking about when I'm stressing about this pen, go back and look at my blog post about how I got rid of the dark circles and bags under my eyes because it's amazing. I also have a video on there showing you the before and after, and uh, of course, I guess this is kind of a before and after, but I just go into more detail about that particular product. Isn't that amazing? It's so much better. Oh my gosh. And I also, just because I'm super, super... Um, insecure about the bags and dark circles under my eyes. I go ahead and do a little concealer too, which I don't know if I need it, but um, the concealer I'm using is Max Pro Long Wear Concealer. Um, I'm not sure what color this is. It says NW20. I don't know if that's a um, shade at MAC. I don't know. Jennifer picked this up for me. So I love her for that. I did have to do it, so um, I don't see any other kind of color on there. Okay, so anyway, I just squirted a little on my, on a little sheet of toilet paper, which I don't know if I'm supposed to do or not, but, um, I just, I don't want to put very much on. I don't want my eyes to look like I've loaded it down with makeup, so I just dab a little bit. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Oh, they look so much better. They're great now. I'm ready to go out. Just kidding. Um, anyway, I, to I totally would after I put that stuff on. It's awesome. Okay, so the next thing, let's see. Eyes, still with eyes. Um, okay. Jennifer had me get Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. So that may not be a new product to some of you, but it's new to me. First time I'm opening it. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to put this on with a brush, but I'm just going to do it with my finger. Oh, I need an eyebrow wax so bad. The only, I just don't have time to do that. Do you guys have that problem? Like you're going to answer me. But anyway, um, I just don't have time. And it's like right now, well, Jessica, how do you have time to do this? Well, my three-year-old's at preschool, and my one-year-old is taking a nap. So I would have to do this anyway because I have a meeting to go to, so I put my makeup on anyway, so I thought I might as well 
Turn the camera on. Okay, so I put that on. I don't know if I did that right, but I think so. Just tapping it on. Okay, so now I guess it's eyeshadow time. Oh my gosh, I am a little nervous about this because I Instagrammed about this earlier. This is my brand new Naked 2 Urban Decay palette, eyeshadow palette, and it's so intimidating for me. I think eyeshadow in general is intimidating for me because I don't understand the, um, the steps necessarily. So we shall see. I don't know. You guys may laugh at me. Okay, so it's all brand new. I gotta take the little thing off the eyeshadow. But Jennifer got me a blending eyeshadow brush at MAC. And then this came with it, so I don't know if there's a difference. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so they're beautiful, beautiful colors. Eh, you're not gonna get kind of the right color. Maybe that. I don't know, it's hard to tell in there. They're beautiful colors. Um, my eyes are kind of like a, a hazel, a brownish hazel. So um, this brown, it's like a brown template. Um, I don't know, I get to kind of just pick which one. I forgot which one she said I should use. But um, I think for today, um, um, I'm just gonna use kind of like a matte uh, brown for the crease, for the bone or whatever you call it. Um, because I don't want to go too crazy. You know what? I'm going to do it in this mirror because it's doing it backwards on that computer. And since this is my first time using it, okay. I don't want to go crazy. I have a day meeting, so, and I'll be home this evening. I'm not going out tonight, so I don't want to go super dark. But so I just put. A little bit of brown in the in the arch there and then I don't know if I'm doing this right but I'm just gonna take my blending eyeshadow brush and kind of blend it around a little bit to kind of I don't know I don't know if that does anything or did anything okay um oh and the next one I'm gonna use is uh, I think I'm gonna use this one because I'm gonna wear a white jacket and when I say this one, you don't know what I'm talking about. I think I'm going to try the Verve. Oh, you can't see that. Verve, maybe? I don't know. So I kind of want my eyes a little lighter. Ooh, it's pretty. It's got like a nice little shimmer on it. I like that. Okay. So I'm putting that on the outside. Okay. Well, it's so hard to put that on when you're looking in a uh, computer camera or screen or whatever okay and then I'm going to use a light color eyeshadow for the very top so I'm going to use booty call that's funny okay booty call at the top I like that you know after I get done doing this and I go back and look at Jennifer's instructions I'm going to be like oh my gosh I did that all wrong I'm going to have to tell them that in the video Here's my MAC blending brush. I'm just going to kind of blend it all together. I don't know if that's right either. Who knows? But it doesn't look bad. It looks good. So we'll go with it. And I don't have a half hour to spend on eyes. Because I'm a mom. Just like most of you probably. Okay. So, the, oh my gosh. I told you the Naked 2 Urban Decay eyeshadow was probably the most intimidating. Well, I lied. This, oh my gosh. This. I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Stila? 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 I don't know. I got it from Sephora. It's a stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner. Never used liquid before. I've always used a, um, a pencil, but it's like a um, liquid pencil or something. So I hated it. I used it for years. I absolutely hated it. I just didn't know there was any better. So she had me try this. Uh, Jennifer did in her uh, studio the other day, and I was so intimidated. It wasn't that bad, but I'm totally intimidated at the moment because now I'm at home and I'm by myself. So, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to do anything with this or, like, turn it or the liquid runs to it. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to put it in, um, put it on with this mirror. And I'm going to be quiet because if I talk, I'm going to mess up. Okay, so I'm about halfway across.
Okay, so I kind of remember this now. So she said if I just kind of like dab it on there, it comes out. It's not like I have to draw it on. Like with that pencil, I had to like draw on. Okay. Oh. And I remember now that I didn't use this on my bottom layer in her studio. I used dark eyeshadow, which was cool um, and much easier. Okay, so anyway, I did not do very well. But we look, shall see. Okay, so now I'll do the other one. Yeah, this one wasn't much better. So I think if I remember right, I can like touch it up and blend it. Okay, so anyway. All right, sorry for the dead silence. So I did not do very good. Like right here, you can kind of see it, but, and this is so uneven <laughs> through here. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to try to, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll figure something out. I will touch it up somehow. Okay, so anyway, put this back in. Ooh, that's so intimidating. But I think it just takes practice, just like everything else. Just like my Beach Waves tutorial, she's seen me do that for the first time. Um, she said not to mess with it until the, it dried. Um, but that was when she was talking about getting mascara on my eyelids. So I don't know if the same for my eyeliner or not. I can't remember. Okay, so anyway, that's done. I'll touch it up and figure it out later. Um... So mascara, I guess. I don't know if I'm supposed to do the high definition setting powder before or after the eyeliner mascara, but I'll do it after. Okay, so my next thing is mascara. Full and Soft by Maybelline is what Jennifer recommended. It's just a drugstore uh, mascara that she really likes. And I'm, I've applied mascara for years, so good thing it won't take me forever and a day to apply it like it did me the liquid eyeliner. Just then. Um, you know, you're supposed to curl your eyelashes too before you put it on, but I, uh, I never curl my eyelashes. I don't know why. Well, yeah, I do know why. I don't feel it really does anything, and I think it's just because it's my eyelashes. I don't know if they just don't like to curl, if they're not long enough. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but Anyway, I just kind of take that step out of my routine. If I wasn't a mom and I had three hours to put makeup on, I'd probably experiment with it a little bit and be on my way, but I don't. So, anyway. Okay, so the next thing, I'm going to go ahead and do that um, high definition under eye setting powder. So, this was an e.l.f. brand. I got this up at Target, I think, for $3. Um, Jennifer recommended that. Which I was so excited to see because I love Elf. I've even vlogged about it. You'll see the blog post. Um, gosh, maybe over a year ago I did it, and because uh, it's just it's awesome. It's cheap. It's reasonable. Um, I got a lot of my brushes there actually. Um, they're okay. They do fall apart a little bit, but I'm here to tell you that I've bought brushes at Sephora before and they've fallen apart. So um, I guess it just kind of depends on what brand. Okay, so what I did with that is I just put it like right under here. And I think what that does is just make sure it helps make sure your eye makeup does not smear and run down. But it's also a light color, so it kind of brightens up the eyes a little bit for those bags and dark circles, which I am a huge fan of. Okay, so blush. Oh, you know, something I didn't use today is my BB cream. 
And the only reason I didn't is because, one, I forgot. So maybe that is the only reason. But um, I don't use it all the time. And I just bought it. I've only used it once. It just kind of smooths out the skin a little bit. And I still actually can, I guess. Because I didn't put anything on my... I didn't put any bronzer, bronzer or blush on. So I will. Um, Jennifer actually recommended... The Stilla, or however you pronounce that brand, of the BB cream, but they were sold out of it. And when I was at Kiehl's the other day getting everything else, I saw they had some, and I thought, oh my gosh, I love Kiehl's, so I'll surely love that. So anyway, I ended up getting um, Kiehl's Skin Tone Correcting and Beautifying BB Cream with sunscreen. Um, I got the Fair Shade, and I just put a little dab on my finger. What this does is evens out the skin tone. And what I've noticed is I didn't notice this before I started using this. I didn't realize how uneven my face uh, skin tone was. Um, I've never wore foundation in my life. Or actually, I take that back. I did, and I just, I hated it. I hated foundation. Um, but anyway, I didn't really think I needed it. And now with this BB cream, after I put it on, I think, oh my gosh. I didn't realize how much better it makes my face look because before... I did have kind of like red blotchy skin, and um, this just kind of evens it out, makes you have more of a little glow. Um, I don't know, I just love that. So I, I do love the Kiehl's. I forgot to wash my face the other night after I put that on. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to break out so bad. I didn't, and I, before when I used a different brand of BB cream, I forgot to wash my face. Um, I think it was the... Uh, Oh, I think it was the day that uh, she did my makeup with the BB cream. Forgot to wash my face that night. Go figure. And I did. I broke out the next day. So the girl at Kiehl's told me, she said, Jessica, all Kiehl's uh, is natural. It shouldn't make you break out at all, but it is good to wash your face. But I forgot or I got too tired or something. I didn't. And I didn't break out from it. So I'm a huge fan. Okay, so anyway, that BB cream's on. I don't know if you can tell or not. Um, but it did even out my face a whole lot. So anyway, let's see. Next is blush. I've never used this blush before. NARS, I guess. Is that what it is? Yeah, NARS. Blush. And then I have a super old blush brush. I think this is an e.l.f. brand or Avon or something. I don't know. But anyway, just a... I used to use a um, blush cream. And uh, now I'm going back to the powder because this is what Jennifer recommended. So... Whatever Jennifer says goes. So I just put it on the apple of my cheeks and in an upward motion. Not too much. It's daytime. Okay, last thing is my bronzer. And I think I'm done. And then, okay, so my bronzer is Too Faced. Uh, the shade is Chocolate Soul or something. I don't know. <laughs> Here. Here you go. Here you go. Medium deep matte bronzer. Okay, so I'm gonna get my blush or my bronzing brush. Got this brush at Clinique years ago, like two or three years ago. Oh my, okay. Oh my gosh, it smells good. It smells like chocolate. Oh boy, that's not that's dangerous. So I just swirl it a few times on the on the brush and then I I only put it where the sh the sun will bounce off, I think is what she said. And this is a lot darker than my old kind, so I'm a little nervous. Okay, I said only wear sunshine, but I'm so terrified that anytime I put bronzer on, my face will be darker than my neck and I'll look like one of those where like the makeup stops here. So I just kind of bring it on down a little bit, but anyway, ugh, I don't know. I don't know, it's the first time I've used that, so hopefully it's not too dark. We shall see, okay. So I think that's it, guys. Um, I don't really put anything on my lips. I just use a, a chapstick. I've been kind of um, careful with my lips just because they get so dry and they're a little sensitive. So anyway, I think that's it. So even though my hair is not fixed, um, I still have to fix that. I'm going to do my Beach Waves today. So if you haven't watched my Beach Waves tutorial, that's on there too on my blog. Um, you can find all the links typically um, on the right-hand side or down below in Related. Or if you're looking for something specific, um, just head on up to the top and type it in my search bar. But other than that, I think that's it. That was my first run of all my brand new makeup, and it didn't turn out too bad. So anyway, uh, I will be back soon. I'm sure just to share something fabulous with you. So have a great day. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.